Hi there. So here we are on part two of our acrylic lesson this month. And I'm going to be working now on um, sketching up the scene and then putting in the sky uh, and then the hills and the foliage using a little bit of palette knife and a little bit of brushwork so that you can see the different possibilities that you have. So let's get on with that right away. I'm going to start off by just sketching in the main elements uh, and I'm going to use that with just a little uh, bit of yellow ochre on my little flat brush. What I want to do is have a bit of a greenery coming through here, just sketch that in and where I want to have this, I want to have the um, the hill coming up here and then I want to have that lone tree coming in there. Now some, I might actually have to take that tree up there, uh, that hill up there just to get it in the right spot. You can see I've got it over here but I want to put uh, another tree. You can see in here I've got that hill over here but I want to put a bigger tree here just for a little bit of um, interest over there, so I'm going to move the hill slightly. Uh, and then this will be about maybe making sure it's not exactly halfway. I don't really want to split it, so I might bring it up a little bit higher like that, and that'll be more lower. That'll be all those trees there. Just give them a little touch in. Then I want to put the building in. I'm just working out where I want my building and how big I want it. I'm going to move that over a little bit more because what I don't want is the... Uh, if I think about the rule of thirds, I've got third, 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 roughly. I'm not being too accurate about that. Just to help me place the building and it's going to go there. I want the peak. That's quite a steep pitched roof, so just put it in maybe like a bit more like that side of the building. So that's just roughing in the building so I can remember the size I want it to be. And it's got a little bell tower there. So that's uh, that's the building roughed in. And there are some trees. To the side of it that are going to build up to that big tree there. And a little bit of foliage along there. So that's basically how it's going to go. I'm not going to at all rough in um, the rest of the tree, uh, the rest of the, the flowers that's going to come in later. Although what I could do is rough in how I want to go. I want to have uh, that's going to be my yellow. Flowers. I'm going to have one patch of yellow flowers there, another patch down here of a lower ground cover, and this will be all the poppies there. So I'm just going to put a sort of rough shape of where the poppies are going to go. They're going to come over here, out here, and then back towards the church. That's going to be mostly the yellow, and some more yellow down there. and. In here there'll be a few other poppies. So that's my rough sketching. Now that I've roughed in the design, I'm going to start with the sky. I'm going to use a nice big brush and some of my blue and I'll need some white for that as well. And I'm just going to warm up with the dinsiest touch of red. The skyline there. I'm going to be putting this all over the warm underpainting anyway, so starting it off like that. I think I'll need to make it thicker. Just want to make the paint slightly thicker than it was, it's a bit too watery. 
you'll probably see a little bit of texture on this paper coming through from the paper. I don't mind that. Uh, now I'll make it a little bit darker as it comes up. So let's make the top a little bit darker. And all just going on with the paintbrush. A nice big wide flat. The sun's pretty well overhead here, um, so not so much shadow. It's a very bright midday. So I'm put a little bit of white straight into there. And just scrap it all over the sky. One thing I wish I'd bought with me was my thickening medium, my, um, which gives it a bit more body, but Again, it was down to weight this time. So I couldn't bring everything I wanted to, and I haven't been able to find any here. That's the thing, when, you, when you're at home, you know what... Um, I really lighten that off now. You know what, where you can get supplies, but when you're travelling, it's often hard to find things that you would like. So if you don't bring them with you, you have to be prepared not to be using them. So I wish I had some cerulean blue, but I don't. Anyway, that's lightened the sky off quite nicely. Um, next thing I'm going to do is the background behind the spoon. I'm going to work in layers from the background to the foreground. And for that, I am going to use my palette knife. Uh, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to mix myself up a bit of um, a more sort of grey colour. So I'm using a bit of white. And a bit of blue with a little bit of red in there. So it's a purpley, a bit more white, purpley grey colour. Not mixing it too much. And with that, I'm going to put in the, the pointy tool behind it. It's, it's rocky and stony and grey. So I'm just going to put it in like so. And you can see how I'm just bouncing it around a bit. And that gives it some texture coming right in there. I can add in a tiny bit more purple if I want to, just to have a little bit of a darker area in there. I'll just take that and bounce some of that on. And then I'm going to take that right back in here. It'll be mostly hidden by the green trees, but if I lose the texture, I just pat on it while it's wet and lift it up. And that will give me nice areas of texture. I can even pat some of that over this stone building to give us some preparatory texture there. But when I put the building in. And, and that will help me get some texture onto the stone. I'm not worried about any of the little bits of yellow showing through, that's fine. And then it goes into a greens across here, so I'll now be mixing up some greens. Uh, just wipe off that palette knife. And it's quite dark green back there, so I'll use some of this thallow green. And a touch of the lighter green. And a bit of blue, bluey purple in there just to take the edge off the greens. Thallow green is very strong. Um, and it's probably still a bit too strong. Just tipping out a bit more ultramarine blue. So I'm going to take a bit of ultramarine blue and mix it in with that green to blue it off a bit. And then I'll take a little bit of yellow and mix it in with that side to lighten it off a bit. So I end up with a couple of different greens, which is what I want. And here I'm just going to start to paint in some of the greens across there and I'm using the same kind of technique just patting away with the palette knife and then I can use the tip of it to make some more pointy up bits of trees and when I want to bring some of that over the hill here just patting it on, patting it here first and then 
as I wear off the paint I can pat away over here and it will give me just some little patches of green for random trees growing on the hillside. And then I'm going to wait until that dries a bit before I put any more green on because it's mixing with the purple and I don't want that so much. I'm just mixing up some more green now using the lighter green then pulling a bit of that out and adding in some more blue. Not mixing it up too much and then I get it all mixing naturally on the... And you can see how that makes some interesting greens. As I come further forward they get lighter. And I have some patches of very light as well. Bring them over to where the church is going to be. And over the other side of the church I'm going to have more trees too, so just the start to that area there. But not too much because I want those purples to dry first. So we just let that start to dry off uh, and I can keep putting a few more greens in there. And I just mix them up as I need them. And I don't need to mix up a great deal of this to be starting with because I want variation. I don't want a whole lot of just homogenous green. So mixing up new batches is a good thing in this case. Well, my church is going to go down here. So I'm just pulling in the greens up towards the church there. And I'm going to give it some quite bright yellows on the tops of that, that bush. And then I'm going to mix in a bit more yellow and just pull it down there so it'll start to get more less bushy there. Here I've got a bit more darker coming in. So move it across slightly. If I don't want the sharp edges to those bushes up there, I can use my round and get rounder edges as you can see there. So I can take that in and make it the sharp edges. Let me put a little bit of green on top on that as well. And it just depends how you tap it and um, what kind of effect you get. So I can pull it along and flatten it out a bit there as it comes down into the grasses. Just putting a little bit of sunlight on that. I'm not really referring to my photo now, I'm just thinking about how I would like it to look. So I'm just getting in a bit of lighter colours there and making it a little bit flatter. I'm going to be pulling some uh, lighter grasses up through that. Over here it's still a bit damp, so I'm letting that dry off. Uh, I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow ochre too with some of those greens there. And use that to get a slightly browner look on some of the golden sort of look on some of the shrubs. I might put on some of these ones through here too. And that just adds in a bit of variety, which we wanted to mix up those greens a bit. So some of these are going to be that golden colour. Now I'm just scraping the brush right over the, not the brush, you know what I mean, the palette knife. Right over there. I want to add in some blue because it's a little bit more shadow down there. 
from the larger tree that's going to be up there. So I've left my little gap for my um, church there. I'll run that across. And I'll be going into that shortly. Right now it's just get those trees in. A little bit of that really dark fellow too. And then I've got this big tree I want to go up here. I'll try it with the rounder one and see how that comes. And actually I'm going to add in some a bit of the yellow to that. Maybe even a bit of that. Is going up, so I'm putting those in as I go, and that's just a little bit of dark coming across there, just to get that in. I might need a bit more light, so let's see if I can turn on some light here. It's getting very overcast outside. of it in. Um, looking at that I think I might want to darken up some of those tree areas in here where there's some uh, shadows. So that's just quite a dark mix of uh, ultramarine blue and some raw sienna. Maybe just dive a little bit around here as well. And I want to pat on a few little trees up through that mountain as well. Alright, so I'm developing a little bit of uh, value contrast there as well as I go. A little bit more just down in here. That's where the shadows will be. Like I said, the sun's overhead, but that means just underneath and around the bases it'll be quite shadowy. Okay, that is basically the sky, the mountain and the trees in. Uh, now what I want to do is put in the church and then I can do the fun part of the, the foreground there. What I do want to do with the foreground is give it a little bit of a wash. Uh, so I'm not using the palette knife yet for this but I am making up a nice dark green and I'm just scrubbing in some of the darks. And I could even add for, for some of the darks a little bit of purple there underneath some of these areas here where the grasses are going to go over later just to give it a bit of um, shadowy areas in the grasses as well. Mixing a bit of fallow green with that as well. And I'll bring a lot of lights over that but it gives me a little bit of a dark basis to be working over the top of which is quite nice. I'm just putting it in randomly here and I can cover up what I don't want with the lighter grasses I'm going to be putting on over the top. So that's giving me a little bit of foreground there. Clean out the brush again. Pop out a little bit more ultramarine blue there if I need it later on. Now that church wall. 
I'm going to use one of my flat brushes for it, probably this size, and then smaller ones when I need it. And what I want to do is to make up a just a bit of an off warm white with it. So what I've got is a white here with a little bit of uh, ultramarine and a tiny touch of sorry I think I bumped the camera then a little tiny touch because it's right above my head of here. So it's just going to make a warm white. I'm going to start by locking in that shape there for the front of the church and then it's going to go mm. what I am going to do is take out some of that tr trees there because my just scrape back into it to get the shape I want of the church and I'm just going to wash some of that out lift it out with my brush Quite easy to do. Right, so back in now with the